In today's Wix tutorial, I will show you how to build your own art portfolio and art shop website. So whether you just want to share your art with the world, create a great first impression for potential clients, or want to create your own art web store, this is the perfect tutorial for you. I will show you how to set up your own website from scratch, how to upload your art, and how to customize the look of your website. You will also get to know how to basically add any element to your website and much more. Make sure to watch till the end and with that being said, let's get started. So first off, you want to create your own Wix account. If you don't have that already, please go over to Wix.com and create your own account. Now once you've done that, you simply want to log in into your account and you will then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Here, you will see all of your sites. Now for me I've blurred those out, however what you want to do is to click on create new site. Simply click on that and you will then be sent over to a new menu. Now once that's loaded, you will see what kind of website are you creating. This can either be an online store, a portfolio or anything else, but for the sake of this tutorial I'd recommend you go with art and then either a art portfolio, art gallery or art store. E-commerce art store. I'll just click on that and just one quick heads up, even if you create the art store, you can still add a gallery. Everything is customizable, so don't be too selective on what you're gonna choose, it's not gonna have that much of an impact, just make sure you select something with art and click on next. What do you wanna add to your website? I personally only wanna have an online store and maybe you wanna add bookings or anything else like a blog, but like I said, even if you don't select it right here, you will still be able to add it once you have created your website. So click on next once you have selected the things you would like to automatically be imported onto your website and you'll then see the last and final choice. Let Wix ADI create a website for you or create your own website with the editor. Now to save us some time, I will go with Wix ADI create a website for you. So click on start now and then Wix will create a website for us. First off, we will have to give it some information. For me, it will be Lucas and Art. And then I'm gonna click on Next. Do you want to import your images and text? No, I don't. However, if you'd like to, make sure to fill in your existing website right here, or maybe add Google Places. I'm just gonna click on Next, and then Review and edit your info. I'd like to edit my logo, or to add my logo. So I'm just gonna select my logo and click on open and now my logo will upload itself. If you're a company and you wanna make sales, make sure to make sure to feel free. If you're a company, consider adding the address, phone and effects. Also, you can update or add a social link to all of your social accounts. I won't do so, so I'm just gonna click on next and now you will have to select the theme you think looks best. Pick a theme you like. For me, I like the for me I like this feeling, however I see there's yellow in it, which by the way you can still of course change the color, um, color palette of your website, but since we're an art store I'm going with something more classic. Now continue, so use colors from your logo to create a palette for your site, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna click on reload and for whatever reason it doesn't work for me, which is quite of a bummer, however I will probably add it myself. Oh, it's creating my palette right now, that's awesome. These are indeed the logos I'd like. So now I'm just gonna click on use these colors. If you'd like to change the color, however, just make sure to click on it and select the color you'd like to be on your website. Pick your favorite homepage design. Now just make sure to go with the one you like the most. However, keep in mind, you can still customize everything. And when I say everything, I really mean everything. The image, the text, the overall look, you can delete anything on the website. To be honest, I like this one pretty much. That's not true, I like this one better. So I'll click on it and now it will ask us the pages we'd like to add to our website. I'd like to add an about page. Artists, if you're a company, this might be something you wanna add. If you do provide multiple services, make sure to click on that right here and the same goes for all of these things right here. So I'm just gonna scroll down a bit. The store or new collection is something I'd like to add and maybe a bit of reviews as well. Now once you've selected all of that, click on edit site and right here is our website. So first off, I will teach you the basics of Wix. 
All of these things right here are an element. The image is an element, the text is an element, this small text right here is an element, and this as well, the store, is once again an element. You can customize everything, so every element on the store. What you want to do is to click on the part that lights up blue. So this is one part of your website. You can customize the image, as you can see right here. The same goes for the title and the subtitle. So click on the image if you'd like to change it and click on replace. Now these are the media settings. If you'd like to upload a picture, that's also possible. Simply click on video. I mean, if you want to upload a video, that's possible. So click on video. I'd like to upload an image and I'm going to click on replace. You'll then get the media pop-up where all of the images are automatically posted. If you want to upload media, simply go over to that button and click on either upload from computer. You can also drag and drop files or if you have your pictures on Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, Google Photos or anything else, you can also click on that. You can also import it using a link URL. Simply click on it and then paste in the link. So let's say this is the image you'd like to import. Simply click on it with the right mouse button and click on copy image address. Not copy image, but the address. Now click on that, go over to Wix and paste it in. Now click on import and your image will be imported and uploaded to your Wix gallery. Click on it once again and now click on apply. And you'll then see that the image has been changed. You can also change the media layout. This can be a fill image, a background or a column. So feel free to play around with it in order to see what you like best. The next thing you can change is the title. This is the title of the image by the way, not the title of the, you know, the basic title. So the title or the alternative text can just be picture or like. Now I don't have a name for this art, but if you do have it, name of art project, for example, description for your image, you could do this. And also if this art redirects to another page, or you'd like it to do that, click on link and then make it redirect, for example, to page. And then you want to have it to the shop and then the top of the page. Now click on done. And now what we have created is that when someone clicks on the image, they will actually be sent over to your store, which of course is going to lead to more sales. So that's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to click this away. And what I will do is to change my subtitle. So I'm going to click on the element once again. And now click on the subtitle. So a fantastic art collection. Of course, I'm not really in the art community, to be honest. So I have no clue what you'd like it to say. But just do whatever you think is best. You can also change the color. Go over to subtitle and make it either black, gray, or any of the blue colors, or any other color which is in your color pattern. For example, I can make this white. And if you'd like to add buttons, you can also do that by clicking on the click to show button right here. Now the name is going to be shop now. And then it's going to link, of course, to the page. And then the shop. Done. If you want to add more buttons, you can just do that by clicking on add button. And for me, this is how I'd like this part of my website to look. Now the next thing we're going to do is to go out of the Wix ADI and go over to the Wix professional editor. This will give us more options on how to customize our website. So what you want to do is to go over to site and go over to go to editor. Then you want to click on switch to editor. But please note that any changes you do make in the Wix editor won't be referred or saved when you go back over to the Wix ADI. So this change will be permanent. Just give it some time to load. However, I do recommend you're going over to the Wix professional editor because you can customize way more. So now we're inside of the Wix professional editor. You can actually see that we have more options. We can edit the text in different ways. We can also now add animations, which is really cool. This will just be a brief showcase of the Wix professional editor. And using the editor, you're also able to add custom elements. Simply go over to the add button and then go over to any of the elements right here. And you can then simply drag and drop it onto your website. I will delete this after I have placed it on my website because it's just for the showcase that you can basically drag and drop it onto the page like I said. Then it will upload itself onto the page. You can drag it once again to any position on the website. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. I hope for you guys it's not like that. 
Now you can click once again on the text to change it. You can also click on the email field to change this field. For example, field title is going to be email. Is it required? Yes or no? I'd say it is because you want them or you want to have the because you'd like to have the emails of your customers and visitors. Placeholder text, for example, email or give us your email. So edit field of the text field and now support is going to be tell us what you like. Now I'm just going to delete it because I don't actually want it to be on my website, but that's how you do that. Now if you have this white space, you can simply click on the element below that and drag it up to make it fit once again. And now we're going to go over to the store. If you have not selected the store, so the slider gallery, what you want to do is to go over to home and then click on manage pages. Then you want to click on add page and go over to store. You can then add a store to your website. So you want to click on add new shop page and then you want to follow the steps Wix tells you to. For me, I'm going to click on see your store because I already do have a store and I don't think it's sending me over to my store. So I'll go over to the switch page menu and click on shop. So this is the current look of my shop. You can see you have all of the products, the bestseller, the new and also sale. I will now show you how to upload your pictures and you know give them a price, a name, maybe add a nice, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but a nice bestseller or new or sale tab. So click on the shop and then click on manage products or choose collection. I'd recommend you're going to click on manage products first in order to actually create your own products. So these are all of the products. Now what you can do is of course to delete all of them. However, for the sake of this tutorial, I won't do so. Click on new product and then click on either a physical or a digital file. If you're having physical art, make sure to click here. And if it's just an image you'd like to sell the copyrights of, click on digital file. Now what's the name? I will give it a random name, Mozart34. What type of digital file do you want to sell? Click on upload file and then either a zip file, a document, a audio file or in this case an image. Now it will once again ask you to select the file. So click on upload media, upload from computer and now select the art file. It's uploaded so I'm going to select it and click on add to product. Now the name is Moser34, the ribbon, so this is the thing I was talking about, can be new arrival for example. Now you're going to click on add. So now you can add new arrival to multiple of your art files, which all will show up on the store. The description can, can be anything you want. Make sure to include a little sales pitch. Of course, this is still customizable. So for example, you can press Ctrl B. That's the shortcut for bold. And then you're going to make a little winky face. And this is my description. Images and videos. These will be visible on the, um, when you click on the product, you'll see the product. So in this case, this file. And if you'd like to show more images and videos there, you can click on that. For example, I will upload a few random um, landscape pictures from the last tutorial I made on how to create your own art photography website. Click on add to page. And now what you're going to do is to go over to pricing. And give it a price. So 95 euros. This is for behind the screens. The cost of goods. The profit. And the margin. So for example. I have 1 euro costs. I don't actually think there's any cost to a digital file. But it might differ for your situation. Now track inventory and shipping. You can use this if there's a specific amount of images you'd like to sell. Or I should say a specific amount of times you'd like to sell the same product. We don't have a shipping weight because it's digital. So what we're going to do is to click on save. Now, if you'd like to make this part of a collection, click on create collection and call it, for example, 2022. Click on check. And now we have created a new collection. Click on save. And now what we've done is we've actually created our first digital product. You can click away this thing now. And you will also see that when you give Wix a few seconds to load, it will show up your product right here. I will go over to preview in order to see if it's actually working. And now as you guys can see, right here the new arrival, Mozart 3.4 for 95 euros. 
click on it and you will then be sent over to the full picture of your art. Here's the description, here's the name, the price. And now what you can do if you're a visitor is to click on add to card and you will actually see your card right here. This is all automatically made by Wix, which I think is pretty awesome. Now click on view card and you will then be sent over to the checkout page. Or at least you will be sent over to your card and now if you click on checkout, you will be sent over to the checkout page. In order to do this, you want to connect payments, so we're going to do that. Click on connect payment methods, or if you're not yet in this part of your website, what you want to do is to go over to back to editor, and then you want to click on site right here, and click on it. That's not true, you want to click on my dashboard. Now we're going to set up the payments. So click on set up payments, you can see it's an home, it's on the home page, but if it's not there for you, you can also go over to settings. And then click on um, payments. I'm not sure what it is. It is right here, accept payments. Now, I've already made a video on how to add payment methods to your Wix website. So if you want to learn how to do so, make sure to watch the video in the top right. And I will also leave a link to it in the description down below. Now, once you've set up the payments, the next thing you might want to do is to go back over to the editor. And now we're going to customize more of the pages. Because we've only customized our homepage right now. So we might want to make changes to the about page, to, for example, our artist page or the new collection. So what you're going to do is to go over to page and then go over to artist. Right now, we're on the artist page and we can change everything right here. So this is one element, manage columns or change the background. We could do that. So when you click on that, you can actually see that if you do this, it will change the background right here. I don't necessarily like this, but what I do think would look good is to make it look like this. I just think it adds a little bit of depth to your website, so that's what we're going to do. I'll do the same thing for the element right here. Change strip background, color, and then it's going to be this theme color. So in order to change the picture in a strip, you want to click on the picture, click on it again, and then click on change column background. Right here is the picture of the artist, or artist I mean, so you can simply click on it and now upload a picture um, right here. No, that's not true. Where is it? Yeah, you want to click on image and you can then change the image of the artist. Now, I don't have any pictures I'd like to upload or change, but that's how to do so. Once again, you can change the text right here, so the subtitle and the title. Just click on edit text and then, you know, change anything you'd like to change. Also, which is pretty cool, you can add animations to basically all elements on your Wix website. In order to do so, click on an element and then click on this button right here, the animation button. Click on it and you'll now see all of the um, animations that Wix has built in. I really like the slide in element and you can then click on customize in order to change the direction, the power, the duration and also add a delay. So for example, I'm going to add a delay of 0.7 seconds. The duration is going to be 1.6 seconds and the power is going to be medium. The direction will be left and I only want to show this animation the first time. Now I'll go over to meet the makers and add the same animation but just a bit more delayed. Power medium from left, yes. And now I'm going to click on save and then hit preview. Now what we have created is the animation you see right now. It's going to be a bit of delay and you'll then see artists meet the makers. You can also do the same for all of these objects. You could make them or you could give them any animation to give it a full branded look. How to optimize your website for SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization and if you do your SEO correctly, you'll get more visitors. You will also be because your website will be more easy to find in Google. What you want to do is to click on, for example, your page right here, click on manage pages, and then go over to the three dots of your page. You'll need to do the same process on all of the other pages. Simply click on SEO basics, and then change the slug, so the last part of the URL. For me, this will be everything after lucasandtutorials.wixsite.com slash website5. It's really artists, it's already set up, but if you are creating a new page, you want to make sure it's also artists. Now what's the page title tag in search results? Um, for example, our beloved artists at Lucas and Art. 
this is way more clickable than what it had previously which is just artists and then this icon if you're searching for something you probably wouldn't click on this as fast on this now of course that's it's depending on your niche as well so make sure to give it a bit of thought you also want to add a page meta description in order to rank higher you want to include as many keywords as possible but not in a spammy way so our beloved artists at lucasen art and now you want to include some keywords i'm actually not familiar with the art website niche so i don't really know what type of keywords are getting searched for but i could imagine it's something like our artists create high quality and professional looking pictures or art of course basically just make it something like this and now what you want to do is to just click on anywhere else outside of this box and wix will save it automatically you can now see that when someone is searching for Lucas and Art artists, they will see this. This is basically what they will see, and once they click on it, they will be sent over to this page. The same goes for your contact page. Go over to the three dots, and once again, optimize the SEO basics. Now that we're on the contact us page, I will also show you how to make it look the way you want. Of course, you can still change the text. I'm going to remove my email real quick, and I will place this to the same height. Right here they have already included the Google Maps. If you don't have the Google Maps thing right here, I will show you how to make it. Go over to add, then go over to, I think it's maps, but I'm not sure where it is right now. For whatever reason I seem to read over it. So if you have at any point the same problem, also or always feel free to go over to search and then search for Google Maps or another keyword you're searching for. And you can then go over to, for example, Google Maps. You'll now see contact and forms right here. And right here is the thing I was looking for. In this case, I'd like to add a full width map. And the color team is going to be black and white because that's the best fitting with my current team. I'm going to drag and drop that onto my website. And right here we have it. Wix. Now you can drag it to make it more bigger or to make it bigger, I should say. Um, it's glitching now. I don't know why that is. I'm going to press Ctrl. Z. Now if you want to manage the location, go over to manage locations and select one or multiple. Now the first one is going to be Wix office, which we're going to change to a random, I will actually leave the address the same, but you can just enter it right here. Now the title is going to be showroom New York. For example, it's not actually in New York, but it's just for the example. You can also add a description. And if you have another website or another page on your website, which you'd like to link to if someone clicks on this. Go over to page for example and click on, let's say I had a um, New York showroom page. Click on that page, click on oh, how does it open, either in a new window or current window. You should decide this for yourself. Now click on done. And the link text will be preview our showroom. Press enter and now we have updated that. Of course, if you wanna add a new location, simply click on add location and go through the process once again. That's how to add Google Maps to your contact us page. Of course, you're also able to change all of the details right here by just clicking on edit text. And now the last thing I will show is the form settings. Click on it and then you can basically once again customize all of the settings right here. I won't go over it all because it's pretty self-explanatory and I also don't wanna make this tutorial too long. Now there's still a lot of things to learn about your own Wix website. So in order to make your website as good as possible, make sure to watch this playlist in which I basically show everything there is to learn about your own Wix website. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below and I will see you next time.